July 6th on CBS. Pregnancy can be a joyous time, but it can also bring a lot of worries, especially for one group of mothers to be. Now a local program aims to make a difference in the lives of black expectant parents. CBS 17's Maggie Newland digging deeper for us into the issue of black maternal mortality and how specially trained doulas could help reduce risk. Kayla Fox and Rashad Reed adore their baby boy. But early in her pregnancy, there were moments when Kayla worried she'd never get the chance to meet him. In my first trimester, I went to the hospital and I was just sat in the waiting room like I was bleeding. I, I was scared I was having a miscarriage and it was so scary for me because I wanted my baby. She also knew that as a black woman, she faces a higher risk of death related to pregnancy or childbirth. Black women are dying three to four times higher rate than um, similarly positioned white and Hispanic women. According to the CDC, maternal deaths rose across the board from 2018 to 2020. But break the numbers down by race, and there's a striking difference. In 2020, the maternal death rate for white mothers was about 19 deaths per 100,000 live births. The rate for Hispanic mothers was about 18. For black mothers, it was more than 55. The statistics are alarming, but not surprising to Venus Standard, Stephanie Devane Johnson, and Jackie McMillan Bowler. All are certified nurse midwives and university professors. They say many black women don't feel heard by medical providers, and some don't bring up concerns or symptoms for fear they won't be taken seriously. So what we're hoping with, with our doula training is to help mitigate that, to provide a voice, to help clients really be able to speak about their needs and desires. The Alliance of Black Doulas for Black Mamas, based at UNC, trains black women to become doulas, then pairs them with expectant moms. The training and service are free. A doula offers emotional support, physical support, informational support. They're the advocate. We touch on and educate about certain aspects that are unique to the black lived experience. There's a certain comfortability that individuals feel when your provider or your support person looks like you and potentially has the same lived experiences as you. The program's founders say that trust can lead to better health outcomes. I've had patients tell us, tell the doula things that they didn't tell their doctor. Um, and that happens a little more often um, than you would think. They can call the doula 24-7, the doula can call me 24-7 which can result in quick access to medical help. It can also simply ease the fears that keep parents to be up at night. I could rely on her to be the person, you know, that I needed to cry to, to vent to, to be able to, you know, give all those worries to at 3 a.m. 3 in the morning, 5 in the morning, just different times throughout the uh, day or night where there's been pains or questions that we just wasn't sure about. Doula Shauna Howard answered every call. I probably talked to <laughs> Kayla more than I did my family sometimes. But she was glad to support the growing family. Definitely uh, a team effort. Shauna, Kayla, and Rashad all say preparing for and going through the birth together was rewarding. It changes your pregnancy inside and out for the good. It just makes you feel like, you know, you um, have played a very special role in someone's life um, and helped them um, hopefully have a more positive outcome because you were there as their doula. And if programs like this become widespread, they hope those maternal mortality rates will start to decline. Do you think this kind of work can save lives? Absolutely, yeah, and not sure. just in a physical way, but in a mental way as well. Hmm. Just extraordinary. Such an important topic to bring awareness to as well. Yeah, and they're, they're really working hard to try to get that maternal mortality rate down. Now, right now, this program is only available to patients who are delivering at UNC Hospital, but they're working to expand that. They hope to get it to more Triangle Area hospitals and across the state, and then they actually hope programs across the country will model themselves after mm. this. Such an important topic. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Stuff. Yeah. I'd like to see more of that across North Carolina. Yeah.